The storm passes, leaving four feet of powder for the tourists to enjoy and a bluebird day for the U.S. women to train. We want to be the best team in the world, and that's one of the things I love about the U.S. ski team is their whole vision and motto is being best in the world. Okay. Nothing motivates a team of coaches more than having the capacity to win. Like the men's team, the U.S. women have traveled to Portillo for 14 days of going fast and testing their bodies, minds, and equipment. And the willingness to visit the edge, to find speed where others simply won't go, is what will put them on the podium. I'm the luckiest girl in the world to be able to like take my introduction to speed with the best of the best. In my best years, I have had really good focus, especially in the start. I'm trying to make my skiing a little bit more stable and consistent to go as fast as I possibly can and not let anything hold me back. All three of my podiums on the World Cup, I've been second. I think I have a turn that can compete with the best. I think that I can glide with the best. I think I have the best equipment out there. I look at a lot of my runs and I was on track to having a top 10 or whatever and it was just one mistake. One part of the course, I didn't totally send it. Being the young one, I, I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by so many great older athletes. Obviously, I want to be a consistent competitor on the speed circuit. For me, as long as I'm just having fun skiing well, I think things will come. There is an almost completely new coaching staff for the U.S. women's ski team this season. And the athletes and coaches are adapting to the changes in Portillo. When you have a new staff in a new environment, it's super motivating because everything is new um, and you want to do the very best. Uh, you can for your team. Jinx one. Loren. 25. 25. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? We have made a lot of changes. It seems like everybody's really excited and inspired to work together and to just get a little bit of a different vantage point. Yeah, line wise, it's good. And I mean, you could do what Leanne did and go even straighter because where you went, Leanne, you still went straight into the last gate, right? I've had the privilege of working with a lot of veterans on the men's side in Canada, so I you know, take some lessons from those things. A big part of being successful in this business is a professional approach to everything you do, and one of my key philosophies is there's no shortcuts. Am I over skiing the bottom at all? Not that I can see, but uh, you can still, uh, if you going tighter on the... The coaches this year are definitely trying to find our limit of what we can handle. Normally the men have the harder side and we get the easier side, and this year we're on the same course. We've also pushed our volume, almost twice the volume as we did last year. They're very level-headed, just cool, chill guys, which is nice. There's no drama with them. You don't need to do very much on this, no, just like gentle, like... Yeah. And it's important that you always keep the outside ski moving forward. moving forward. They're generally a lot harsher. They don't build your ego up as much. I think boys kind of have that side naturally, <laughs> where the girls kind of need a coach to come in every once in a while and be like, hey, that was good. <laughs> and we don't get that. Keep focus, OK, girls? Yeah. All the very end. Okay. But when you can handle volume like that and, and know that you're going to be OK and, and see how strong you are, that's a confidence booster in itself.